Gun Meme Review. What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers? On this episode of Gun Meme Review, HK kinda stepped in it, and administrative results took it off. Scandalous. That's right, the talking balaclava himself has removed the balaclava. We'll get into all this and more in this episode of Gun Meme Review. First up, of course, new drama in the ongoing saga of HK Social Media Girl. First off, I doubt this is the same HK Social Media Girl as got famous in memes years ago, but apparently they've got another one, or had one. Real long story short, Miller Lite's marketing campaign took one look at Bud Light and said, wait for it, hold my beer. So the second in the line of kind of white trash beers decides to start talking about women's rights for some reason. But you know who we haven't heard from? HK. HK, of course, being the manufacturer behind the MP5 and the MP7, which we'll never see, amongst other things. Sorry about that, guys. Picking up filming on a different day because my computer would literally not stop freezing. So, I'm sure that blooper reel is going to be fun. Anyhow, as I was saying, HK weighs in with gun bunnies, no. Beer bunnies, eh. Supporting women. The only thing missing from this is why HK needs to weigh in on this at all. This was quickly defended by a three paragraph retort with a bit of a condescending and belittling attitude, I may add. And then Twitter proceeded to immediately catch fire. HK social media employee. HK, I know where this is going. You know where this is going. How did HK social media person not know where this is going? Well, as it turns out, HK, at least upper management or whoever made this call, knew that they had to act quickly. And boy golly, did they. The next post on their Twitter was this. HK does not engage in identity politics. A policy was violated, changes were made. That was a not so cryptic way of saying that they told their current social media lady, you're fired. But that's not before Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, and what have you completely lit on fire with HK memes. H and K, the rest of Twitter. Because for about a day or so, it looked like they were going to be the next company to join the, uh, well, I guess the corporate sacrificial altar of wokeness, so to speak. And I wouldn't have even considered this like woke per se if it wasn't in direct reply to the Miller Lite controversy. Like it was literally a reply on the same Twitter thread. You're looking at what's happening with these corporate beer brands and you're deciding like, ah, oh, I want a fucking piece of that. That looks like it's going really well for them over there. Hmm, I think I might try it. And I'm not even saying that I'd necessarily disagree with the original premise either. I don't have a problem with women in the industry, but I don't think that gun bunnies are necessarily the best way to sell product either. Women in revealing clothing will never not get likes on social media. That's just part of the game. But are they liking the photo because they like your product, or are they liking because they're a 53-year-old man who's down bad? Like, instead of saying all this, you could have just said, gun bunnies are cringe, simping is cringe. Simple as. I can only imagine the first day in the office of HK's new social media guy looked something like this. In fact, the mad lad actually posted this from the official Twitter account. That is one big pile of shit. But to round out the memes on this one with a, a little bit of irony. Recently fired HK social media girl. Ironically getting a job as a gun bunny. I hope not, but you have to admit, would prove God's got a sense of humor. But I think the valuable lesson I think to be learned from companies like HK and you know, God knows any other big corporation you don't need to use your platform to virtue signal. I just want a goddamn MP7. It's the trend with these companies like Bud Light and Target and Miller Lite and now fucking HK. Nobody asked. Political statements that are unrelated to your product. High risk, no reward. It's just like Ford coming out and making my damn Raptor gay. <laughs> gay? I don't care if Ford corporate's official policy is they want to repeal the 19th Amendment. I just want a fucking car, man. It's like a bad Alex Jones bit. Now, the globals don't want you to know this, but they're putting chemicals in the water that are turning the freaking raptors gay. Gay! Pretty sure that was actually the plot of Jurassic Park, now that I think about it. Okay, maybe, maybe not the plot, but like, it happened. So if you think HK should focus less on virtue signaling and more on importing an MP7 to us United States customers, go ahead and subscribe. We love our subscribers here, they keep the channel going. And my subscribers know that the moment an MP7 makes it to the civilian market, we'll be doing a video on one. It's getting converted full auto anyway, but you know, hey. <laughs> Anyhow, enough ranting. Uh, on to administrative results in a moment. So we all might have some bad habits, but there could be an easy way to break them. 
Unless we're uh, talking about a gun buying addiction, in which case I still haven't figured that one out yet. Now today we're talking about our sponsor, Fume. You see, not every bad habit is wrong, i.e., you know, the gun collecting. So instead of drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad part from the habit? Fume is an innovative device that does exactly that. Instead of electronics, Fume is entirely natural. And instead of vapor, it uses flavored air. So instead of harmful chemicals, you get natural flavors. So instead of your old bad habit, Fume is something you're free to enjoy anywhere you want. And there's no plumes of smoke or anything that are gonna be annoying to others either. Fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial. And it's designed with moving parts and magnets and such for fidgeting if you're going through a particularly stressful or anxiety-ridden part of quitting your old habit. The design is super simple, but I was wondering like, okay, it's not a vape, so like how the hell do you get flavor out of it, right? But after messing around with it, can confirm very minty. And if you decide you wanna try it and take the bad out of your old habit, you can sign up for the journey pack. You can head on over to tryfume.com slash Brandon Herrera. That's tryfum.com and use the code Brandon Herrera for 10% off. We appreciate Fume for sponsoring the video. Now back to the content. Now, ladies and gentlemen, who am I kidding? Women on the internet aren't real. Gentlemen, it is with a heavy heart that I inform you, we have witnessed the end of an era. The gun YouTuber Administrative Results, AKA the Talking Balaclava, has died. Okay, he's not literally dead. He posted a face reveal where uh, he comes in as himself to kill the balaclava guy, who's also himself. Look, it was a fun video. Don't think about it too hard. But alas, the balaclava has ascended to meet the other memes in meme heaven. It genuinely will be missed. But as admin took off the mask, the gun community learned something that many of us who knew him personally have known for some time. It's a good fucking looking dude. Don't be intimidated. Try to imagine him without the mask. Oh no, he's hot. <laughs> yeah, administrative results, or as you know him now, Aaron, has been a good friend of ours for a while, and I know he's been planning this for a good minute, so it's cool to see all the reactions to him finally taking off the balaclava for good. I was talking to him when we were hanging out the other day, and I don't think he expected so much just thirst posting about his face reveal. You guys can get a little carried away sometimes. So you see, that's where the trouble began. That smile, that damn smile. You, the guy she told you not to worry about. It's the same picture. When you already knew what administrative results looked like because he pulled your dumb ass over. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't watch his video, or I think he's even mentioned this before, uh, his, in, his, in his past life, his pre-YouTube life, he was, uh, he was a cop. He actually ended up leaving police work over the uh, mandatory jab, pretty based. This one somebody sent to me and I had to include it. I, I had to send it to Aaron. The thin hair line. The story of GunTube's biggest cover-up. Quote, he kept asking about the AK-50, so I took his hair when he wasn't looking. You have been warned. Brandon Herrera. Aces, that was, that was good. I personally don't think there's anything wrong with his hairline, and I also don't want to, you know, tempt fate. As I get closer to my 30s, this may not be there forever, and I don't want to say some shit that's going to bite me in the ass later. Turns out, karma's a bitch, and I want to stay on that bitch's good side. You know, a lot of admins' videos look like they're filmed in the Sonoran Desert, which now that I think about it, is a great place if you want to get your start in gunsmithing and weapons technology. Links in the description and the pinned comment. Not nah, seriously, they're the main sponsor of the channel. Check them out, give them some love. Me, my girlfriend. I know she's actually a federal agent. Now see, that's funny, because I know my girlfriend isn't a federal agent. I know this because she goes away every time I take my medication. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this, though. Do you think Administrative results should have kept the balaclava on even just for a little bit longer or are you excited for this new period of the channel where we have, well, Aaron now? Let me know down in the comments. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. So just scroll on down and leave a like and a comment. Your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm gods. <laughs> I wish Aaron the best of luck. On to more memes. Brandon Herrera after his text messages with Donut get leaked. Yeah, pretty much can confirm this one's true. The moment a three-letter agency gets access to our private communication, well... FBI, open up! <laughs> Next up, a Stone Toss comic. Hold on, guys. Maybe we're overdoing it with the Second Amendment. What if future Americans invent super deadly rapid-fire muskets? Whoa. That's scary. Our privately owned cannons would be no match. 
Yes, despite how much the president likes to get on stage and say that you can't own a cannon in this country, you absolutely can own a cannon. You have literally always been able to own a cannon. The entire duration this country has been a country you could own a cannon and, you know, a good bit before that. The come and take it flag is literally from an early 1800s dispute in Gonzales, Texas over a civilian owned cannon. You know, we're obviously big gun meme fans around here and if you're watching, you probably are too. But you know who's also been posting them lately? Out of left field, here comes Elon Musk. Explaining constitutional amendments. The First Amendment is for sharing memes with friends. The Second Amendment is for when they try and stop me from sharing memes with friends. Elon, I couldn't agree more. Anyhow, guys, that is all I've got for this episode of Gun Meme Review. We appreciate you guys for watching, subscribing, liking, and commenting on these videos. We actually have a pretty active community here, and it is all thanks to each one of you at all. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. So anyhow, we'll go ahead and wrap up. I appreciate you guys watching to the end. And as always, I'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. And my computer didn't fucking freeze this time. Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon Like us put his rise to the top But the killers you can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop Fuck me The MP7, which we never Fuck me, are you fucking kidding me? Let's see if this goes now <clears throat> HK, of course, being... Are you fucking with me? HK says... Are you fucking with me? Fuck you. Just go fucking kill you.